name is Javon Reed, Seattle Seahawks cornerback. I'm rocking with G-Spot Sports. Seattle Seahawks 
cornerback Javon Reed, typical Nita, out here getting in at Camp Moolah, man. Talk about coming out here training before you get ready to go to training camp at Camp Moolah, bro. Oh, uh, man, the biggest thing, man. I'm out here getting in the best shape of my life, man. You know, working with Turk, right? He know he'll receive it, you know what I'm saying? So he know what it takes to be the cornerback. So he getting me through all the things to not get beat, man. I just appreciate him for that, man. Much love to Turk, man. Camp Moolah. All right. Now, when you went to Auburn, you started off as a wide receiver. Mm -hmm. Let's talk about that transition from wide receiver to cornerback, and what made you uh, make that transition? Oh man, it was a it was a decision. You know, I made for myself. You know, I talked to Sean about it. Uh, I want I want to play corner in college. Right. You know, I wanted to play in high school. They just didn't want to let me. Right. So I always had it in me, but I just said, man, you know what? If I want if I want to get paid, right. play football. I'm gonna, go, I'm gonna do that. So I made the decision, man, and it was kind of easy for me because I knew what receivers want. Right, you know, being right. Receiver, you got an advantage. I know, I know them. I know what they want. I know when they take an inside release. I know where they want right. to go. Right. So I'm out there jumping stuff, making plays. Uh, it, it, it was. It got kind of rough, you know, the tackling part. Yeah. Just being a football player part, but as far as sticking the receiver, I can that. Nah, nah. When you switch the corner, was that your decision or your coach came to you? No, that was my decision. That was my decision. I told, I told Sean, I was like, man, after this season, I'm going to come and I'm going to give you some money. He was like, hey, that's how you feel, dude. I said, that. Right. When I drank, paid off. All right. Now, talk about your journey. You know, uh, you went in as an undrafted free agent. Mm -hmm. uh, you started off with the uh, Rams, right? Yes, sir. And then you left the Rams. Then you went to Seahawks, and the Seahawks let you go. Now, you're back with the Seahawks, right? Am I correct? Mm -hmm. So, just talk about that whole uh, that whole journey of, of staying positive and, 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 and trying to just reach your ultimate goal and make the final 53. Oh, uh, man, it, 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 it was rough at first, you know. It was a business part that I didn't understand, right. you know, as a rookie. You know, I getting in my feelings. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Right, right. That's, that. normal, that's normal. Yeah, you know, I'm getting in my feelings. I'm saying, man, I don't want to ever play for them again. Man, they call. I'm like, shit, I'm gone. I'm on the plane. <laughs> right. You know what I'm saying? So, just like I told Sean, man, I, we was riding. We was going somewhere one day. Matter of fact, I was going to trial for Philly. Okay. I got cut by the Seahawks a while back, but I told Sean, I was like, look, man, for some reason, I don't know why, but I'm going to end up back in Seattle. Why you say that? I don't know, bro. Yeah, but I feel like, but I'm I'm headed to Philly. I'm right. thinking I, I can go make this team and be on that team. I'm like, man, I'm gonna end up back in Seattle. Man, I get to I get to Philly. I work out this Monday. Philly was like, man, we are gonna sign you on, on Wednesday. I'm like, bet. Seattle, blowing my phone up. Like, what do they want? Man, Seattle called. She heard you about to sign with Philly. I'm like, yeah. They're like, when they sign you? I'm like, Wednesday. And I'm like, we'll sign you tomorrow. Now I got a, so now I got a decision to make. Should I go back to the team who cut me? Right, right. Uh, 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 start right. here with some new chances. Right, right. Shit, I'm going back to Seattle. <laughs> I got to show them. They, right. they made a mistake by right. cutting me. Right, you know what right, I'm saying? right. So I went there, you know what I'm saying, and, and I'm working, man. The sky's the limit. Now, being in an organization like that, you know, with the success that the Seattle, the Seattle Seahawks have had over the last three or four years, you know, playing with the Legion of Boom, being around those kind of guys like Cam Chancellor, Richard Sherman, Bobby Wagner, those kind of guys. Who's had the most influence on you since you've been there? I say all of them, because they all they all different. Right. You know, Sherm that he talk, right? But he he only he don't let me mess up. All right. So you know all what right. I'm saying? He said because I always told him I was like, look, man, you you my idol, bro. I want to be like you, but you know I'm shooting to be better than you. Right, right, And he right. said, if you wouldn't have said that at the end, I wouldn't have respected you as a man. Right. And from that day on, man, he he pushed me to the zip. I'll pick a ball off and he'll come and be like, uh, you did this, you did that, but you messed up at the line. Right. But it don't matter what I do, whether it's bad or good, he the first one on the field. Right, right. You know right. what I'm saying? So, and Cam, man, he, he, he a solid one. If Cam tell you something, it's, it's like you know, it's legit, you know what I'm saying? It's legit. It, it, right? Cause he don't open his mouth, man. You know, and he just he be a guy who lead by example. Like Earl just Earl just Earl. He, right. He the greatest. You know what I'm saying? Right. And just watching the way they work. Man, we had a backup safety named Steven Terrell. Oh, I know you're talking about. Yeah. He didn't get one snap at practice since I've been there. Earl right. go first, second, and third team. Come on, he won the reps. He need the reps for for game day. He get first, second, and third team. Reps. You know what I'm saying? So he it's like, man, so when it gets to game time, I already know what's coming. Right. You know what I'm saying? And just seeing stuff like that, that, that that's amazing to me, man. You know what I'm saying? Because them practices don't be easy. 
And for this man to go in every group and don't complain. Right. And on game day, be picking the ball off because right. he, he'll come right. to the sideline like, man, I told you it was going to come right uh -huh. to him just like that. Right. You know what right. so, right. You just, you just got to respect you gotta respect all three of them, man. I, I ain't going to sing them out. But them three guys right there, man, they, they mean everything. Yeah. That's big time. That's big time. Nah, you being from Tipperdo, man, y'all got a lot of talent that they came through this area through the years. Yeah. Um, they could have played in the NBA probably, played in the NFL. <clears throat> Talk about the kind of influence you're trying to have on some of these kids in this area that that, that could, you know, make that jump to try to go play professional football, professional basketball, baseball, whatever sport they choose to play. Um, what kind of influence are you setting for some of these kids out here to, to make them believe? I just tell them, man, you got to believe in yourself. Right. You know, before I believed in myself, Sean believed Right. You know what I'm saying? And when I saw, when I knew I had somebody in my corner, Like man, what I want to tell these kids is man, if you if you really believe it, do it. Who stop it? Right. You know what I'm saying? Don't say my coach didn't give me no offers. Go ball so hard that they have to. All right. You know right. what I'm saying? Right. So that's that's what I hear a lot of, a lot around here, man. I couldn't get no offer, man. My coach didn't help me. Right. You ain't ball holding. Right. You know what right. I'm saying? Because if you if you get, if it's in you, they gonna come find you. Right. You know what I'm saying? So just keep keep doing what you gotta do, man. And keep keep God first. Guys, man, I appreciate you doing that segment with me, bro. Yes, sir. We gotta do it again one, one day when you get back on, uh, when you make the final 53, bro, and you come down here for the Saints game. Well, I hope, you know, I'm a Saints fan, so hopefully uh, you do your thing, but we get the victory. Man, that's not gonna happen. <laughs> that's not gonna happen, but hey, I got you. Javon <laughs> Reed, man, Seattle Seahawks cornerback, G Spot Sports, man, we signing over. Yes, sir. What up, what up, what up? Thank y'all for tuning in to G Spot Sports once again, man. This was a fantastic segment I did on Trevon Reed, the typical native, you know, around my hometown in home of Louisiana, uh, playing cornerback for the Seattle Seahawks right now. Uh, you heard his story. Um, it's inspiring. And uh, just sitting down talking to Trevon, man, you know, you, you, you can't do the roof for the kid. Um, he's been through a lot of obstacles right now. Um, you know, he went to Auburn as a wide receiver and switched to cornerback his senior year. Uh, went undrafted. Um, as you heard him say in the interview, you know, he got all of the rounds, he looked around for a little while, then they cut him, then he went to the Seahawks, the Seahawks cut him. Um, then he was going trial for Philly, and then the Seahawks called him back, and now he's, at, he's, now, he's now with the Seattle Seahawks right now. Um, you know, I picked his brain pretty good yesterday, man, just, you know, getting the ins and outs of how the NFL worked, the business side of it, and, 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 and you know, the grind, the grinding part of it, and, and you know, what it takes to, to make it on that level and be successful. And, you know, Trevon is one of those players, you know, and I've been around a lot of athletes, he's one of those players that really wants to be great. Um, he's willing to put that work in, he's willing to put that grind in to, to make sure he's successful. And um, I think he's going to take the NFL by storm this year. Y'all be on the lookout for that kid this year, man, in the NFL, bro, with the Seattle Seahawks. And, you know, sometimes, bro, you know, some of these athletes trying to get on, you know, not just the NBA, not just the Major League Baseball, um, not just overseas playing basketball, but in the NFL, you know, it, it's all about the situation. And as you, hear, as, you, as you heard him say in the interview, you know, he, the, the Philadelphia Eagles were to sign it. But, you know, Pete Carroll and called him and said, hey, we'll sign you today. You come back to Seattle. And that's what I'm that's what I be talking about, you know, when, you know, it's all about your situation and the fit. You go and play with the Legion of Boom, man. Richard Sherman, you know, those guys with big time influences on him since he's been there. Richard Sherman, Earl Thomas, Cam Chancellor, Bobby Wagner, those guys. You know, you have no choice but to, to raise your level uh, of, of play. You know what I mean? So, I like the situation he's going into. You know, uh, I kind of think he's equivalent to the situation that Tremont Williams went through. You know, the, the, uh, the kid down here from Assumption Parish that went to Assumption High School, you know, uh, went to like four different teams, three different teams, something like that, and he kept getting cut. And then ultimately he ended up landing in Green Bay, right on side a Hall of Fame cornerback and Charles Woodson, 
and the rest is history. Chamon has, has been an eight, nine year veteran in the league and been a very productive uh, veteran in the league. And I think I, I'm, I'm comparing this situation to Javon's situation. I think sometimes, man, everybody road is different. Everybody thinks success is a straight line. You know, it, it's not that easy. You know, sometimes success is like this. It brings it through all kind of zigzags. And that's what's going on right now with Javon Reed. No doubt in my mind, this kid is going to be playing big time for the Seattle Seahawks and he's going to be getting um, room by some of the best defensive backs in the NFL. Um, you know, and, and, and don't get it twisted. Javon is no slap dick. You know, coming out of high school, he was in that 2010 class. He was the number one player in the state of Louisiana in 2010. He was ranked fourth in the nation at his position and he ranked 46 overall. So he was in the top 50 in the nation coming out of high school. This dude was heavily recruited by Alabama, LSU, Auburn. I mean, you know, he went to Auburn, Arkansas, California, Oregon, Florida. I mean, the list goes on and on. The kid been recruited by his major D1 program. So, you know, this is not um, anything that's surprising me that he's that he's being successful right now and, and, and about to make his mark on the NFL, you know. And I hope this inspire a lot of you young athletes that's watching this, um, watching my, my segment today. Um, it's you know everybody's story not the same. Everybody not gonna be a first round pick. Everybody not gonna be you know uh, uh, make that success story right away. Sometimes you know God puts you through certain obstacles, man, to build you up, man, to prepare you for the long haul. And you know that's how some people story up, that's the story goes. You know what I mean? So you know y'all pay attention to Trevor Reed and and and. and uh, you know, look out for him this year with the Seattle Seahawks. I, I, like I told him, I will be in the dome when they play the Saints this year. You know, I hopefully he have a good game, but I want my Saints to come out on top. And big shout out, man, to his mentor, um, guys like a father to him. Um, Sean Nelson, as you, as you heard him say uh, countless times in the interview, when Sean Nelson was a big time influence on him coming up as a kid. Sean the one brought him to all those camps and, and, and put him on the map at a lot of those camps. You know, getting his Getting his, getting his mind right, staying on top of him, man, and making sure he don't stay in the streets, making sure he, you know, he get his school work together. And, you know, we need more people like that, bro. And, and I, you know, I got to give a big shout-out to Sean Nelson for that, bro. You know, uh, pushing Trevine, you know, countless times uh, through the years to make sure he don't, you know, have no no, no setback for us, getting in trouble or anything like that, or, or losing his focus on, on, the, on the prize at hand. You got to come in a guy like Sean Nelson. You know, he doesn't get paid for this. You know, he just... Doing his, doing his, uh, <laughs> doing his duty as far as somebody in our, in our area. You see, you got potential to be successful, and you want to help this kid. You know, when he don't have a father figure in his life, you know, Chavon Reed, you know, his mama died, you know, at an early age. So, you know, uh, I, I just like the story, but I like everything about it. And um, like I said, I'm rooting for the kid. Um, but before I let y'all go, you know, my website just launched. Um, www.gspotstores.com man y'all go check that out man now live uh, you know I'm very excited about it um, I want a lot of people to you know uh, go check my website out tell me what y'all think man give me some feedback on it uh, um, things I can improve on man I'm always trying to evolve um, uh, this upcoming uh, football season man I'm gonna be doing a lot of a lot of uh, traveling a lot of covering <clears throat> covering a lot of different uh, sports a lot of different teams LSU the Saints um, the Pelicans, man, I'm, I'm, I'm really excited about this upcoming fall. A lot of high school sports. Uh, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be all over uh, trying to uh, cover all these big time events, bro. But in the meantime, man, y'all subscribe to my channel. To everybody, y'all know that watch my channel, to subscribe, bro. And um, I'll be back with y'all in a later date. In G Spot Sports, I'm signing out.